Hey everyone, this is David from Default Sound, and today we're going to be talking about the arpeggiator MIDI effect within Mainstage and Logic Pro. I'm using my Synth Volume 2 patch bundle today, and I've got the Polyvibe High Patch selected. It sounds like this. Nice quick little uh, stab sound. I'm going to go here to MIDI effects, and I'm going to open up the arpeggiator. It opens up like this. Let's talk about a few of the functions and buttons to begin. Here's your play button that toggles the arpeggiator on and off. The latch button allows you to play a note or a combination of notes and then release the keys. And the arpeggiator will continue to play those notes until you change chords. It sounds like this. Useful if you want to free your hands up to do other things. You can also, by default, the latch button is mapped to the sustain pedal, which can be useful, but if you don't want to use your sustain pedal for that, you can change the mapping here, and you could map that latch button to a button on your hardware controller or an on-screen button. Next is the rate knob. Every option under the sun, all the way from a whole bar to one 128th note everywhere in between. Moving on, you have note order, so if you play a combination of notes, this is going up, going down, back and forth, alternating up and down, switching across, and this option allows you to set the order that the notes are played. So depress the hand button, and then while holding each note as you play it, play the notes in the order you would like them to be repeated. Once you've got your pattern set, press this lock button, and then when you play any combination of notes, it will maintain that pattern. Really useful if you need to set a custom uh, melody line. Each of these patterns has four variations, as well as the option to add in additional upper octaves, which can be really useful. Okay, let's go down and check out the grid section. By default, the grid starts with one beat of the subdivision you've chosen. You can drag that out all the way up to 128 beats. Usually between 8 and 16 should be enough. We're going to start with an 8-beat pattern today. To add uh, bars, just drag this little button, or this little slider here out to however many uh, beats you need. Then, simply click on a beat to add a beat, uh, to add a pattern to the art. You can increase the velocity by dragging the bar up or decrease the velocity by dragging it down. If you need to delete a note, simply click on the number below the bar. If you click outside of the pattern you've created, it will automatically increase the length, but you can just drag that back down and move your bar over to maintain the pattern that you want. Press this little button down here to change that beat to play a chord instead of a single note. That can be really useful if you want to just sustain a chord with a set pattern, and you can have a lot of fun playing around with the velocity. If we go over here to options, you can adjust the note length. That they overlap a little bit, or they go very short and staccato. You can randomize that parameter as well. You can adjust the velocity. 100% is purely what you've designated on the grid closer you get over here, it will lean towards the default percentage that you can set in this little window. You can randomize that parameter as well. Swing adds a little bit of swing in between the notes of your subdivisions. It can get pretty weird pretty fast, so use with caution. So that's a little bit of what you can accomplish with the arpeggiator MIDI effect. You can uh, make some even cooler sounds by adding another MIDI effect before or after the arpeggiator. So let's turn on the chord trigger plugin, which I have before the arpeggiator. And I'm going to load up a set of chord triggers that I have. So this, when I play a single note, it plays a full A chord for me here. I'm going to go over to the arpeggiator and turn it on. And that allows you to play some really complex patterns with a single note. 
So you can experiment with that as well. And of course you can add different audio effects to achieve some cool sounds too. For instance, dotted eighth note delay can sound really cool depending on the pattern of your art. Um, just play around with those settings, see what works for you. All right, that's about it for today's video. If you have any questions, you can send me an email, david at defaultsound.com. And I hope you'll go check out my website, defaultsound.com, and see all the main stage and logic patch bundles and song-specific worship patches I have available there. You can find me on Facebook at uh, facebook.com forward slash default sound. If you like this video, I would love it if you went and liked that page. Also, of course, if you like, share, and comment on this video, that would be a huge help. Lastly, I'm on Instagram at default sound. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope you have a great day.